Hello and welcome to TFA Analysis. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Good news for Cameroonian living in United States of America. Joe Biden administration has decided to grant temporary protection to all Cameroonians living in United States of America as asylum seekers. This is a good news coming after Cameroonians, many Cameroonians experienced frustration and were deported to Cameroon in 2019 and up to 2021 under the administration of Donald Trump, where more than 80 Cameroonians were deported back to Cameroon and upon arrival, they were arrested by the Cameroon government for talking against the Cameroon government out of the country. I thought from that particular incident, the United States of America and many other international community learned a lesson and also that attitude of the Cameroon government exposed how unsecure Cameroon is. And it is also a, a, a celebration for all Cameroonians that people, other nations, have started recognizing the ongoing conflict in Cameroon. When the Cameroon government say everything is under normalcy, country like United States of America, they say there is something in Cameroon. And from the statements, or from what the, the Secretary General of Homeland Security of the United States of America say, I would read it as he say it. He says, the United States recognizes the ongoing armed conflict in Cameroon and we will provide temporary protection to those in it. He said in a statement, a Cameroonian nationals currently residing in the U.S. who cannot safely return due to the extreme violence perpetrated by government forces, armed separatists, and a rise in attack led by Boko Haram will be able to remain and work in the United States until condition in their home country improve. It is a good news indeed because they understood that the condition, the living condition, the armed conflict in the far north region and in the north and the southwest region of Cameroon have forced many people to leave the country, have killed many people. They also recognize that a Cameroon is one of the unsafe places on earth. They also say from this statement, it show that they don't believe in what the Cameroon government is saying and putting on social media or on TV channel, that everything is under normalcy. And I pray that many countries, especially the Nigerian that is hosting many southern Cameroonians as refugees should recognize this and treat these people well. It is a good news that came on Friday, the 15th, April 2022. He also said that they will be allowed to remain in the country for 18 months and can apply for work permit meaning they will not just be there as a salon seeker benefiting from the government or from the little the government will give they will be treated like human beings able to work because that is the most difficult thing in developed country to have a work permit and he said this is only for Cameroonian living in the United States as of April 14, 2022. This temporary AA protected statue will benefit, there are people that this will benefit, he said, undocumented immigrants and those with visa that are set to expire. It will also benefit those who have visa that would has already set to expire, maybe it's already close to expiring date, it will also benefit them.
to remain there because their country is unsafe. Their country is unsafe. They recognize the ongoing Anglophone crisis in which the government of Cameroon say everything is okay. They are recognizing the Boko Haram atrocity in the far north region where thousands of people have been killed, where children are unable to go to school, where people, villages have been deserted, where thousands are living in Nigeria and another country as refugees begging for food. They are also recognizing the thousands of Cameroon, Southern Cameroonians who have been killed by the military and the Amazonia fighter. They are also recognizing that thousands or millions of children are unable to go to school in Southern Cameroon and in the northern, in, in, in far north region of Cameroon. I say congratulations and thank you to the president and the government of the United States of America. He say hundreds of Cameroonians are displayed all over and they do not have access to hospitals and schools. And they also came to discover that there will be shortage and food insecurity in Cameroon, which is already ongoing. We heard about what is happening in Cameroon where the prices of all common goods of necessity are increasing up to the point where the minister is asking them to cut down their expenses. When we talk about this one, how about the IDP who are begging for place to stay, who are begging for food on the street, who do not have any means to survive and the government of Cameroon, the only thing he gave them, main trusses. And then I ask, where are they going to sleep with those things? On the street? In some country, you see how they handle their IDPs. They give the high street, give the allowance every month by the Cameroon government. Many IDP are even have been arrested, tortured, and some of them are in prison. Many of them have become prostitutes. The government says everything is under control. I pray that all, oh, if God can do something, that all these IDP be carried to the United States of America for them to live a better life, to be treated like human beings, not living in Cameroon, in their homeland, and be treated this way. There is food insecurity in Cameroon. Serious food insecurity. And how about these people that don't have where to stay? That the condition make it unsafe for Cameroonians to return home. They make it unsafe. Because when they try this, when Cameroonians gave them false information in 2019, 2020, and 2021, many Cameroonians were repatriated, deported, and then end up in prison. Cameroon is unsafe for anybody especially Southern Cameroon to live in. It's unsafe because everybody in the eyes of the government is an Amazonia fighter. And everybody who lives in, in French-speaking Cameroon doing well is accused by the Amazonia fighter as black leg. And there is no way we can escape to. He says, from the statement is showing that approximately 11,700 Cameroonians in the United States of America will be able to apply for the a, a temporary protection in the United States of America. Just imagine how many Cameroonians are living there. We pray for God to take control. We pray for God to touch the heart of other nations, to have pity on these poor people who have been forced out of their home by their government and by the Amazonian fighter and by Boko Haram.